My name is Sebastian Villa and uh, I'm, I'm going to tell you a little bit about myself and how, what I do and how it ties into what we're going to talk about today. I am partner and CTO at a company in Los Angeles called Social Control and we do social media marketing and development ranging from Facebook applications to Twitter campaigns to websites, data centric apps, games, mobile apps. And then I run a smaller technology company called Villa Media that I co-founded with my brother. And we do all the software development for the company in Los Angeles. Uh, my partner and I, my, my partner in LA and I have been doing this for about a year. And before that, I worked for a company in Los Angeles as well called Social Control. And uh, that's how I've landed where I'm at, where I am today in seeing the progress of technology in, in the mobile ecosystem in particular, you know, back in um, 2002, I believe, we were doing games for Nokia phones that were only the only phones capable of running the flashlight player. You know, this is, this is old stuff. And um, it all started evolving at a very, very fast uh, rate. And by 2008, <clears throat> when the first iPhone came out, uh, there were 800 apps in the App Store. It was a great moment to be in that space because it was very easy to innovate. You know, it was very easy to come up with something that no one had done before and break ground by just creating a calculator that you could have on your phone for free. At the time, there were 10 million downloads with only 800 apps Today, we have 1.3 million mobile apps in all the app stores, uh, Microsoft, Android, and Apple. Of course, Apple being the pioneer has the, the highest number of uh, apps available in the app store. And 40 billion downloads are from Apple, the Apple App Store alone. And the reason I bring that up is because it is still a great place to be in today. It's a great market to be in. Today we have, uh, you know, millions of apps to compete with and it can be very challenging to come up with something that's innovative, that's, uh, that's interesting, that people are willing to pay for. So it can be seen as a good thing and a bad thing, you know. Is it even worth my time developing an app and coming up with a concept when I know that someone else has already done it? Like, you know, the saying goes, there's an app for that. Why will I reinvent the wheel? I tend to believe that, yes, that is happening and that is making it more challenging. But at the same time, technology is evolving so fast that it's creating more and more opportunities for that. Cell phones or, you know, these little computers, computers we carry in our pockets are getting so powerful that that's allowing us from a technical standpoint to innovate and create things that were not even possible uh, in standard computers before. Just today, there are 3.4 billion cell phones in use. Last year, something very drastic happened. It was a historic moment when cell phone sales surpassed desktop computer sales. That means today we are consuming more content on mobile devices than we are on desktop computers. And that is outrageous, you know, that is phenomenal, that is unbelievable. These numbers don't lie, you know. The numbers of apps in the app stores don't lie. We are in this today and it's a great market to be in today. With that explosion, we have a lot of stuff going on. The content being consumed is in the numbers of 1,000, 100,000 tweets every minute of the day. Almost 700,000 pieces of content are shared on Facebook every minute. 40 hours of video are being uploaded to YouTube every minute of the day. And what that means is everyone is consuming more and more content. Everyone is spending more and more time on their devices. In 2010, we had an average of 40 minutes a day on your device. Today, we have an average of two hours looking at your device a day. And it's, it's growing even more. So with that said, 
you know, the, this has changed with the, the, the way we do business today. And I like this quote from uh, Christina Warren from Mashable last year who said, having a mobile strategy shifted from nice to have to must have for businesses of all sizes. So you no longer, it's not longer a matter of if you're gonna have a mobile site, it's a matter of when. How far behind are you willing to fall before you realize that you need a mobile strategy? Which brings us to the biggest question. How do we deliver content to these devices? How do we reach those people? How can we get content from somewhere into someone's device in their hands? Well, the two main ways to get content into a mobile device. You either build a website or you build a mobile app. They can look very similar, you know, right here I have a picture of a weather app from Yahoo. On the left hand I have the mobile, ver the mobile website version and on the right hand it's the mobile app. They can look very similar, however, there are fundamental differences between the two. One, your mobile website you have to access through a URL. You have to type in a URL that you have to know or find through a search engine and that content has to be downloaded to your device every time you search for it unless it's catching in it and but to keep it simple that content has to be downloaded every time you visit that mobile website the website is done in in a in a, in a way that you only get content to your device as you need it every page you visit is downloaded to your device and that's the way a website works on your desktop computer that's the way it works on your mobile device as well. Technologies such as HTML, CSS and JavaScript which are universal languages that all browsers understand pretty much the same way. Whether you are talking about your desktop browser or your mobile browser, they all understand that same universal language. Now mobile apps on the other hand are built specifically for the device and are packaged before you can actually access them and you have to download the whole package before you can make use of it. That package can also get updates from the internet but all the main files and the core functionality has to be in your device before you can use it. And mobile apps are built in the programming language of the device. The different platforms that we have today are Apple, Android, Blackberry, Windows, Symbian, and, and other smaller platforms, but these are the big players as of now, and BlackBerry, of course, falling uh, through the cracks. So these mobile apps are built using the proprietary uh, platforms to each manufacturer and are built in multiple programming languages, as opposed to websites which are built in a particular language that's universal.